Hello everyone, this is Big Daddy from server 1188. Um, this is like my part two of uh, how to build a T1 defense. Um, my last video got cut off uh, and I didn't realize, so I'm just picking up from um, where we left off. So, um, I was talking about layers. So, when it comes to T1 defense, like you're, you're a player who just is a defense player, uh, you do not attack a lot. You just keep take hits. Um, I suggest that you don't build too many uh, layers. So keep your layers thin, especially the cav layers. So starting from T2 to all the way till, say, T11, um, keep your layers around 50k. Um, as you can see, um, I'm growing now. So I added a little bit more, but they were, you know, if in... It can happen. Like here, I built a bit, bit too much. Um, don't dismiss them. Just you know, it is what it is. But um, if you already have layers, just don't build too many. Okay. Uh, if you're a rally setter like me, there is no option. You have to build top tier troops. Uh, in that case, uh, just when you're taking a defense hit in SVS or battlefield, just make sure you ghost your top tier calves. Um, this is like, regardless of you getting hit with ground or range, uh, your T1 def uh, defense, it doesn't matter to you. Yeah, your All your T1 calves will stop the attack. Um, but yeah, you always, always ghost your top tier calves. What I do, I usually ghost all the way from T14 to uh t11 and i only leave around 50 60k or 100k of calves um before when i was like purely concentrated on t1 um my layers uh, it, this is how my layers used to look like calves were like around 50 60k uh, all the way up to whatever t i had um ground also was kind of the same i didn't have a lot of ground and because I used to attack a lot with range, I had a bit more range troops, which, you know, my reports actually looked good because when I got attacked, my range troop actually didn't die much and they they killed a lot of the um, enemy's troops. And uh, same was siege. Uh, siege, ground and calves, I didn't have a lot of like huge layers. Um, range, I had a bit more as I used to attack with it. And yeah, so keep your list thin. It just helps you, um, you know, l it helps you lose less power and it helps your T1 uh, calves to do more, most of the work and the enemy loses more, tr uh, you know, power uh, slash troops when they're attacking you. So that's one. Number two was um, debuffs. So uh, this is something a lot of videos I've watched about T1, they completely ignore or do not mention it as much. Having a really good debuff, right? So T1 defense in itself is great. It works perfectly. Um, but having higher de debuffs, um, it's like the cherry on, cherry on top, you know, because your reports are going to look significantly better. And you will be able to actually take more hits because because of the debuffs, less of your troops are dying and uh, you're performing better. So you can actually take, instead of, say, you took two hits and a lot of your mid-tier troops died or your lower-tier troops died, you need to recover. But when you have good debuffs, you can actually take one or two hits more because you didn't lose much at all. Um, so how do you increase debuffs? Is actually dressing up um, your sub generals in Akamanda Uh Here, there is no fixed pattern. What I do is I try to keep a balance. Um, uh, I look at, you know, say here, for example, mountain troop attack. Here, uh, I'm concentrating on siege, and then um, again siege. Then there is uh, ground troop HP and defense, especially for ground troops. HP matters. So that, and uh, see, again, mounted and siege. 
and uh, here you go range here so i kind of like try to mix it up nicely and also another super like really important thing when you build six um you know akamenida you get the six uh set buff which is uh decreases uh, enemy troop attack further by 15 percent so imagine you have this set up in on all of your sub generals um that's like you know that kind of debuff uh, will will go a long way for you even when you say you want to grow like me and i um you know you want to grow like me and just don't want to be one, a t1 trap this will help you in the future debuffs are super super important um i still have a lot of work to do so um i'm still building a lot of gear for my sub generals um and also any extra sieve gear i'm putting in uh, on them uh i think i mentioned in uh, mentioned it in my last video um spirit beast uh if you're not using them um they have debuffs and they work on sub generals um okay i wanted to show you another thing so for example you can't build um you don't have a lot of materials uh you want like a short fix right um and especially range because you're gonna get hit with range a lot um and you're like how do i get my range up um this is another option if you i'm i'm not a fan of this i still want the six by six uh debuff of uh, reducing enemy troop attack by 15 percent. so I'll, i build a community. uh but this is another one that if you have a few extra lying around and you need gear on your sub general um this uh, fearless Ares armor uh, decreases range troop attack and siege machine attack both um, by thirty percent. This is short fix. You're trying to put uh, you know gear on your sub generals, and this is what you have available. Um, why not? You can use it. So that's that. So sub generals uh, debuffs. Uh, super important, uh, keeping your cav layers thin, uh, very important. Uh, just going to have a quick look. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go through some reports because why it is important to ghost. Um, let's have a look. If, hopefully I can find them. Okay. So this one was interesting uh this was from last uh, svs k40s um i actually got hit by um uh siege for the first time and uh, as i said my debuffs are not that great so i took uh, took quite a bit of hit um this was yeah so what i did was once when i took the first hit um i'm not sure if i marked it when I took the first hit, I realized that, like, you know, Siege kills Siege. So, uh, these guys were, like, you know, Red Wing, um, experienced all-star players, some of them. And they they hit me with Siege, because I'm growing right now, and in an odd position, uh, I have to build, build troops, you know. But when you're in, like, the 2, 3 billion, you know, kind of in the middle like um you know you haven't quite built all troops equally or properly uh i got hit with um got hit with uh where is it siege man i can't find it anyways i got hit with siege and here you go i got uh hit with siege and Look at this, like, it was massive, right? I can, um, also good buffs, like 1500 siege is pretty decent. My uh, siege isn't, my siege debuff isn't great. Um, so I took a bit more damage than I would have liked. Um, but, but I think I did pretty well. Um, how could I have done better? was to if i ghosted a bit more of my siege then my t1 would have done more uh better work so that's that uh let's look at some reports 
for example, uh, this one, K40, um, not crazy buff, like only 1737 range buff, but look at this. So what I did was I ghosted, um, I ghosted my calves. I actually ghosted my T14 and T13. No, only T, only T14 ground. I ghosted a bit. I have actually have around a million, but I ghosted a bit because I noticed they die. Uh, T1 ground died regardless of what I got hit with. So I was like, I'm going to keep a thin layer. So, uh, but look at this one, T14 um, calf, T13 calf. I leave roughly around 50 to 100K um, in my keep. Uh, so when I take a hit, my power loss is much less than the enemy. Um, another one thing. Sorry. Mm. That was a ground hit. I was not rained. Uh, not that crazy of a ground hit, but like his buff isn't crazy. Uh, but here once again, um, I didn't ghost enough of the T four uh, fourteen ground. And I lost a bit more, but look at the siege and range, right? Um, once again, range and siege, they, they just do better. Uh, ground keeps dying, so I, I, I always ghost my T14 calves and T14 ground. And um, after this last SVS, uh, once I got hit by uh, siege, now I also ghost a bit of my top tier siege. Um, anyways, uh, without making this video too long, uh, make sure calves, uh, layers are less, thin layers, good debuffs, and ghosting your higher tier calves, uh, will give you good results for T1. If you have any questions, leave them the, on this video, and thank you for watching.